Hey everybody, John V here again from Phone Arena. I have the HTC Amaze 4G in my hands. And of course, it's benchmark time, and we're also going to show you the, the performance we're seeing out of the box here. So with the handset, it features a dual-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor, which is coupled with a 1 GB of RAM. And just like the other handsets before in T-Mobile's lineup, the Sensation 4G, it features the Sense 3.0 experience on top of Android 2.3 Gingerbread. And with the processor, you can tell very smooth with this operation. Very, it's also instantaneous. A lot of graphical elements to the to the presentation of Sense. It's handling it very well. So we definitely like the response that we're seeing out of the box here with this final retail version. So we're gonna quickly just run the Quadrant test here. Show you what the uh, performance looks like uh, with that. And we're gonna run it a couple times to see if we get a consistent score. So, so far we're liking the operation of the handset pretty much on part to the other dev Sense devices we've checked out the high-end category here. So let's see if we can get these graphical tests done here. So this first one, roughly around 20 frames per second on the average. This one here, ranging heavily between, looks like 40 and 35, 35, even jumping up to 60 at times. So it's all over the place with this one here. Next up, it looks like it's running smoothly, consistently at 62 frames per second. And the last graphical test here, running at a steady 30, around the 33 frames per second mark. And here we go, first test. So let's see what it puts up here. And it puts up a 24-29 score. So respectable, but nothing mind-bending, mind of course. Just because we've seen the Galaxy S2 push it well over 3,000 on numerous occasions here. So let's uh, run this a second time, see if we get either the same score or if we get something at least better. Again, benchmark scores, you could read them for what they are. Some people, you know, live and die by the uh, results, but again, it's ultimately the real world, ex real world experience that's going to ultimately sell it for some people out there. And again, so far from our quick look at this guy, it's uh, running relatively smooth and we definitely like the operation. So here we go. <laughs> 60 frames per second on this graphical test and the last one roughly a little bit of above 30 frames per second so that's pretty smooth and here we go and the results are it's going to put in 2658 so slightly better again nothing spectacular so let's show you the other test here that we ran already the n 2 benchmark test ahead of time and um, I can show you the results here you can tell all the uh, the numbers the figures it puts up Gave it an overall score of 42.35, and it's not that nothing, nothing worth bragging about, tell you the truth, just because uh, we've seen other devices really push it um, close to the 5,000 mark here. When we pit it up against the competition, you can see in the score chart here, it's it's lagging behind, you know, some of the other recent devices, uh, actually older devices, Galaxy S2, LG Optimus 2X, the Motorola Zoom, even a little bit behind those devices, but. Uh, for the most part, again, you could take it. Uh, you could you could take these results any way you want. But as far as the user operation, so far it's looking good. So if you'd like to learn more about the uh, HTC Amaze 4G, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V. Thanks again, guys.